Hello there, this is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another video. Do the work. Yeah, yo. Hey, um, before I even go any further, I want to give a shout out to my barber, Daniel Anderson. Um, his Instagram is in the description box. Uh, check the brother out, especially if you live in the Harford County area of uh, Maryland. You know, you need a nice cut. He, he's been hooking a brother up. I mean, you know, when he's cutting my head, you know, I lean over a little bit because Rom got big head. But, you know, you just push it back, keep it moving and everything. So want to give that brother a shout out. Very good brother and stuff. So support him. Anyway, do the work. You know what? When I reflect on this thing of ours called game. You know, the game of man gets women. You know, I think about how nowadays you can just get on the Internet and you can find websites, you can find blogs, writers, videos telling a man how to get a woman. Right. You know, we didn't have the same benefit when I was younger. You know, you just I mean, I guess, well, maybe not the internet, but you did have the benefit of dealing with uh, some friendly elders, uh, men or women who might tell you some things. And then a lot of times you still had to, you know, just watch what they're doing and everything. But, you know, you had to navigate some more. And one of the things with I do with my books is more to give somebody a perspective right is to give them a general dynamic of what they should be doing what they should be looking for and all of that and that's ultimately what you know any person given any type of relationship advice or dating advice is ultimately doing but at the end of the day you still have got to do the work you know and this was kind of inspired because recently i had a um young man and he was basically looking for a magic bullet like just magic words to say to a woman it's like well what can you say to a woman to get her to that point you know get her to the sex point you know and that's not really me anyway telling somebody some magic words because there are no magic words right i can tell you in general what you can do or in general what you can say but you know every single woman out here is different and what a man has to do, because a man has to do is he has to figure out what works for him in general and what doesn't work for him. But the only way to do that is to get out there and do the work. Because you get a lot of guys, I've, I've seen a lot of guys, they'll, they'll look at this stuff, read it, and they'll say, oh, it won't work. It won't work. Well, have you got out there and did anything? Have you got out there and actually talked to people, you know? I'll talk about like, you know, me, I talk a lot about getting yourself in shape physically and everything. And you get some guys, oh, they won't work with these women. I seen this guy who did this and it didn't work with him. I was like, well, dude, did you try it though? Because one thing out here, the information is general because a woman's gonna interact with every man differently. And in fact, you can't even say everything you would do with a woman. If I say in general, okay, like something very general. And this is some uh, a lot of people who deal with sex, like on a professional basis, like they'll tell like some tantrum masters or something or people dealing with uh, some like the Tao sexology or Kuma Sutra and, you know, things of that nature. What they'll tell a man to do, even some women, and that's deal with the woman's breast Y'all know I had to say it like that, right? They'll say, and in general, I would say that. I would say, hey, if you're making love to a woman in general, you know, start with those breasts. Trust me. Most women are going to, um, you know, they're going to get off that way, right? But then you get some women don't want you to touch their breast, right? And this ain't just about the woman's, uh, you know, making love to a woman, but it's just to illustrate a point. You have to get out there and do the work, right? You have to figure out what works for you. 
you know, because I've seen that with a lot of people, a lot of people complaining. I mean, you got whole websites where somebody is saying, oh, these dudes are just lying and I did this. And it didn't work. And I was like, shoot, you ain't supposed to follow somebody. They all most somebody can do is give you a perspective, like I said earlier, you know, because you can't even follow them because I know they, you got some um Dating coaches, they had people following them on camera and everything. And we won't get into whether the videos are real or not. But, you know, well, let me let me put it like this. For example, if somebody is if somebody say I allow some cameras to follow me and they'll see me interacting with all these women. It's like, oh, Rom knows what he, he's talking about and stuff. And if I do just what Rom did and follow what he did, I, I should be all right. It's like, no stuff works for Rom because Rom got out there and found out what works for him. The most you could do is get an idea and maybe pull some stuff from what I'm doing. But ultimately, you got to say, well, okay, how is this going to work for me? Because what works for me is, you know, I'm a stocky brother, you know, who's, (laughs) you know, carry himself very confidently and look like I'm about business and about trying to make things happen, even if I'm walking around in T-shirt and jeans. Right. But see, somebody else do it and it ain't going to work for them the same way, right? See, I can be laid back, but somebody else might have to be a little bit more aggressive. You know, they have to say, okay, well, this is how women respond to me in a certain way. You know, it's not, you know, a lot of people have used the analogy of style. And I'll say, I'll talk about different styles and everything. But ultimately, you got your own style. But in order to discover your style, discover what works, you got to get out there and interact like one of the things i do because a lot of people hit me up about having conversations with women and stuff and i you know i tell them the same thing you gotta get out there and just talk you know there's no magic words you could say and a woman just gonna get wet it's probably shoot in fact two different people could say the same thing to a woman the exact same thing word for word one she'll be ready to slap and the other one she'll have sex with right there on the spot all right that's because the woman is interacting with the man, not just on his, um, what he's saying, not just what's coming out of his mouth, but how he looks, his aura, how she feels in general around him. Is she taking a whole lot? She's looking at a whole lot of stuff. You know, it could even extend to if he's saying it's uh, standing in front of a late model car as opposed to standing in front of a bucket. You know, it's all this stuff going into it. A person has to get out there and say, all right, this is what works. And, you know, that's even like what he's how they say it. That's maybe their style. You know, somebody could have like they could be suited and booted and stuff. And some woman they approach or try to talk to is like, eh. but then that same woman later on, if you casual. It works for you. So but regardless of what advice you take regardless of what you read or even what you see you still have to be able to apply it to yourself and say okay this is how i do it right it's like in basketball i I never forget you know i was playing this pickup game uh back in the day and i remember you, you always got that one dude who whatever wants even during the game wants to give like some running commentary and stuff but I don't know why he was doing it, but it was interesting because but he was talking about everybody's shot, not in a bad way. It was like, all right, yeah, that's it. That's his shot right there. OK, you got to get it to him right there. <laughs> all right. That's his game right there. You know, everybody got their own style of game ultimately, and they have to develop it. But in order to develop it, you got to get out there and do the work. Right. You 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 have to. You know, and that's that's one of the things um, I want to emphasize, even with my own stuff. You know what? And I've told people my books are to give you an idea about the social dynamics in general, what's happening. But you got to like really go through them and say, all right, this going to work for me and this isn't going to work. So, you know, that's good. He told me you got to really pick and choose. In fact, uh, you know, I have some people now, I'll give a shout out to Alan Roger Curry, you know, everybody knows about mode one and communication. I've had several guys that I've coached who will read my stuff and they, they will, 
you know, use my stuff to maybe, you know, deal with the economic situation, get themselves in shape. But then they'll also use mode one. And I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. It's not about, it's like you want to draw from different people. And in fact, someone someone could use my book, read what I'm, listen to what I'm saying. They can deal with Alan Roger Curry. And then they can hit up Kevin Samuels uh, for um, image consulting. And actually, I know a couple cats who've actually done that. They they read my book, Alan's book, and, you know, they hit up Kevin Samuels, you know. But whatever you do, whatever, whoever you go to for coaching, however videos you watch, how many books, you could have a mile high of books. You still have to find what works for you. You know, how you can approach women that maximizes your effort, how you can lay back and have women approach you that maximizes stuff, which women are going to be you going to maximize anything with. You still have to do the work to figure all that out. All right. So anyway, that's it for this morning. You know, what's funny. I had to record this video uh, again. Right. Or podcast again, rather. Because, yeah, some technical stuff. But, you know what? The message still says the same. You have to do the work. Anyway, I'll holler at y'all later. Peace.